Stoneman Douglas students paid a visit to members of Congress as the issue of gun control took center stage in Washington, D.C. Congress is set to take action on tightening background checks, and the Department of Justice appears to be ready to okay a ban on bump stocks, but an assault weapons ban is likely going nowhere. A day before returning to school, Stoneman Douglas students were on Capitol Hill, seeing firsthand how gun control dies in the halls of Congress. We shouldn't be banning guns for law-abiding citizens. We should be focusing on making sure that citizens who should not get guns in the first place don't get those guns. House and Speaker Paul Ryan wants to see a tightening of background here. checks, but has shown no interest in banning assault weapons. And Republican Steve Scalise, himself a victim of gun violence, dismissed the idea of raising the age for purchasing an assault weapon. There are a number of things that are being looked at right now. That's not one of the ones that's being talked about as much as basically is closing loopholes. Scalise met with students from Stoneman Douglas who, unlike him, favor stricter gun laws. We talked about policy, but really we talked a lot about shared experience and obviously it got very emotional. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein and Republican Jeff Flake have introduced a bill to raise the age for buying a rifle to 21, something President Trump supports against the wishes of the NRA. Um, Another indication the administration may be yeah, partially the bucking the NRA, Attorney General uh, Jeff, Jeff Sessions saying guys. bump stocks, which convert semi-automatic weapons to fully automatic weapons, can be banned by a federal mandate, indicating a law would not be needed. Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy will be part of a group of bipartisan congressmen talking about gun violence at the White House Wednesday. The public is demanding real action, and uh, my hope is that the president will lead his party uh, to the point where we can get something important and meaningful done. And a bill introduced in the Senate would strengthen the national instant criminal background check system and hold federal agencies accountable if they fail to input information into that system. The bill does not call for universal background checks.